Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's do the same problem we did in the previous video, but using the fall method instead. And again, this is not an easy problem because the numbers are big. But first, let's again factor out what's common. We can factor out an x squared and everything is even, so we can also factor out a 2. So 2x squared, which leaves us with a 15x squared, minus 52x and plus 45. All right, now, how do we use the FOIL method? We look at the first number here and look for all the combinations that we can have. So the combination would be 15 and 1, 5 and 3, 3 and 5, and 1 and 15. Now, when we look at the last term here, we notice that it's 45. So we look for all the combinations here that gives us 45, but since the middle term is negative, we know that the numbers have to be negative. So we can start off with a negative 45 and a negative 1. How about a negative 9 and a negative would be 5? Or a negative 5 and a negative 9? Or a negative 1 and a negative 45? So which combination here, multiplying this times this plus this times this, gives us the middle term minus 52? Well, let's try it and see what we get. How about 15 times a negative 1, that's minus 15, and a 1 times a negative 45, minus 45, is equal to minus 60, and of course, that's not 52. How about 15 times negative 5, that's negative 75, so that's already too big. How about 15 times negative 9, well, that's definitely too big, so it looks like that's not a good combination, we can get rid of that. All right, let's try 5 and negative 1. So 5 and negative 1, that gives us minus 5, and 3 times negative 45, well, that's way too big, that's minus 135, so that doesn't work. How about 5 times negative 5, that's minus 25, and 3 times negative 9 is minus 27. When I add those together, I get minus 52, and that's exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for the minus 52. So again, what did I do? It was 5 times negative 5 and 3 times negative 9. So this combination with this combination numbers gave me the correct middle term, which means that what's in parentheses, well, I can already write this down as well. So I can say this is equal to minus, not minus, because that's positive, 2x squared times, for the first binomial, I get 5x minus 9, and I get 3x minus 5. And this is the correct factored form of my original problem. So again, you be the judge which method you like better, the one we showed in the previous video, or this one right here, using, whoop, that's our puppy sneezing, all right, or the foil method. So let me know which one you like better, the previous method in number 17, or the foil method here in number 18. And that's how it's done.